Hi guys, it's me, Boog. And yeah. And today we're going to be reviewing the Batman classic TV series, Batmobile. Absolutely. A really exciting uh, review today. Uh, we've already put the classic Adam West Batman and his super partner, uh, Robin. They should already be up on the channel if you want to see their review. And of course, today we're here for their Batmobile. Yes. As Boog said, from the 66 TV show, uh, as everyone calls, classic Batman. Yes. And what an awesome show that it was. Uh, yeah, campy, goofy, all that stuff. Sure. But it was still a super fun show. And this is one of the things that made it that fun. This Batmobile is absolutely awesome. Yeah, there were there were there were weird definitely some cringe worthy moments, like like most TV shows back then. Oh yeah. But I mean this thing has it all. Bat phone, bat gadgets, bat orang, bat traps. I mean this this, this thing Where's the bat phone? Like this egg. Wait, wait. The bat phone. I think this is it. Maybe. Oh. Um, think. Not 100 percent sure, but I believe it is. Maybe. We have to watch a couple episodes just to catch ourselves up. But anyhow, this is it. Uh, I think they've done a really good job from what I can see so far as far as recreating uh, the original Batmobile. You can see uh, Batman and Robin uh, in the car there, which is what, the way we're going to display ours. Once this is over with, this will look yeah. awesome on the shelf. Uh, like I said, we with these two guys. We're on the show for doing a good back down there and work on some sooner or later. We do. So, yeah, this is, it'll be awesome if there are these two guys cruising around. Like I, we, like we talked about in this video, I don't know if we're going to do the whole line. And I'm not, maybe, and I think the line might be coming to an end. I don't know. Amazon, uh, last week, I don't know if it was just an after Christmas sale or they just had too much in stock and they're ready to dump it. I don't know what the deal was, but they had it on. They had this. And these marked down really, really cheap. It, but, uh, but I think, yeah. uh, but I think, I, I do think they did actually, um, uh, like, um, like reveal the new series of, uh, of the years recently. Yeah, but we were talking about a new series, so maybe that's what it is. They're wanting to move these out, uh, because the new one's coming in. I haven't yeah. seen that yet, so I don't know. Hopefully that'll be in the news so I can get caught up on it too. I'd like to see what else they're doing with this. News, we also need to go on that too. Yes. We have so much to do. <laughs> yes. Lots yeah, and lots to do. Yeah, that's kind of the crazy thing with the YouTube is they really don't expect how like how much goes into it. Right. Yes, yes. There's a lot of work on the other side, but yeah. a lot of fun work. So anyhow, yes. I think that's all we could talk about really. I love the packaging, the the classic style that they've done with it. I will mention that. And um so we're going to open it up, give us a couple minutes, and we'll get it out and get the figures inside and kind of see what it looks like. Yes, so um, we'll see you guys right out of the packaging. And we're back. All right. So, yeah, here is the 1966 Batmobile. Yes. And as you can see, we've already placed Batman and Robin inside. Thank you very much, see Robin. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, it does come with traditional rubber tires, which is very nice, not they hard spin. plastic ones. Of course, they spin. It feels very sturdy. Pretty well, as I hear it quick as I'm squeezing it, but feels pretty sturdy. <laughs> uh, and go, this, is, this is a very complicated car <laughs> to make. Uh, it was heavily, heavily modified for the show. Um, I can't even remember uh, right now what type of car this started off as. Um, but like I said, obviously it was it was heavily heavily modified for the uh, show. The guys did a tremendous job on it uh, with everything that they did. Um, and you can see it's even got the bat jet engines back there, uh, the exhaust here, and on the show. I mean, it had all kinds of stuff that would come out, and they would you know uh, run the Riddler off the road. Uh, yeah. uh, I don't know, it was like nails and uh, webbing. You know, would come out and trap them, oh, yeah. and just and they had all kinds of gadgets, 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 gadgets. Um, it'd be a little cool to have some orange back here. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't maybe, mind maybe that. like an attachable, like, flame piece or something. Right. But I'm sure, you know, they're trying to hit a price point with this. Um, but yeah, it's, it's amazing. They hit all the lines because you have a really strong line here uh, that has to set out and here. And they were able to hit that, um, which is good. Like I said, it's not an easy mold to do, but they did good with it. Uh, the front, like I said, a lot of complicated stuff going up front. Um, Robin's. <laughs> Robin's. 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 Yeah, <laughs> Batman is so tight Robin. he can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Robin, <laughs> hang on, Robin. So, um, but we'll get to that part in a minute. <laughs> yeah, Robert, Ro Robin definitely needs a, a seatbelt. Could be a jack, a jack, <laughs> any other. But the bubble windows, they look good. They feel good. So yeah, this this is a cool car. I, I have no problem with this whatsoever. Now, like I said, um, I'm gonna let Boot go over the actual uh, figure placement and how well they fit into the car. Yeah, as you already saw with Robin. <laughs> yeah. So he's <laughs> and Batman 
Yeah, <laughs> um, and also, I feel like Batman, like his uh, his head comes up too high. I feel like he's fully looking over the, over the window. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, Robin, Robin's not as terrible, but still, he still is looking over it a little bit. Yeah, and they're both in there as far as their feet will allow them to go. Yeah, uh, but that's that's it. Um, but I guess overall, you know, it's it, it's okay. It's a cool look. Like I said, it's still going to look awesome on the show. But, but Rob is not waddling everything yeah. all over the place. Now let's try rollability, which is also very important for play features. You're going to play with this guy, and it's nice and smooth. Those rubber tires uh, make it really, really nice. Let's see. If this... Very yeah. good. Um, and like I said, it's not it's not huge. We're going to do some comparisons here in just a second. But... Uh, Rob is probably going to fall out <laughs> the underneath side of the car. Pretty basic, nothing there, but you can see those rubber tires, which is really nice. So, this is a cool looking vehicle. I really like it. And I love that when Farlane uh, takes the extra step to make these vehicles. And I'll show you this right quick, too. It's interesting. I might, I need to check the price on it. I didn't see it on Amazon the other day, but if it's, if it's been marked down to, I'm probably going to pick it up for this really cool display piece. But uh, this is. What I was talking about earlier with these figures, probably another reason why they didn't make them so huge is because they actually make uh, parts of the Batcave. So there it is. You can see the Batmobile parked in there. That's really awesome. I'm thinking, gosh, how cool that would be on the shelf. How awesome would that be, right, Boo? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I may look into that if it's not too expensive, uh, and that would look really good. Uh, our pizza just got here. Well, it is here. So, anyway, just wanted to point that out to you guys. But let's do our comparisons right quick, and then... Uh, We'll wrap it up. Give her our final thoughts. So here is let me move this back a little bit so you guys can see. So of course here is look at up front. Maybe you can see that is obviously the six six Batman Batmobile. Here comes McFarlane's eighty nine. Well, actually, this is the uh, the one that comes with the classic Heat and Batman Batmobile. Yes. So this isn't um, the single release, but right. So we'll kind of just just so you can see with uh, maybe go down a little bit more with the camera angle. It's probably gonna chop off our heads, but that's okay. <laughs> no. So, uh, but you can kind of see the yeah. only lower faces now. <laughs> I think I've got I've got them at the end to end, so you kind of see the size difference there. This one is is obviously it's much much bigger. Uh, but again, I think this is a set for a seven inch figure. These guys are probably fives. It looks like yeah. So um, not bad at all. Yeah. And then compared to <laughs> all the monster track, that is it. Love, <laughs> love getting there. Oh, uh, brother viewers at home, I was just uh, taking uh, the back the back. He stopped for a spin. I don't know what brother loves doing. Hey, what are you doing in there? Oh, oh, my uh, brother Batman. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! But yeah, then you can see here. Like I said, this is—is is it the Bat Beast? Of this yeah, this is the Bat Beast. Bat Beast, yeah. So, and you can see, obviously, there's no comparison. This thing is a monster uh, compared to the classic Batmobile. But that's okay. Like I said, it didn't need to be some huge, huge thing. Um, hey, get back here! It does. <laughs> it does the job quite nicely. And yeah, like I said, I think if you get that, um, back up here, so you can see us. So, I think if you get that uh, Bat K piece. <laughs> Then you know it's not going to be this huge colossal thing, but I love it. I think this is a really good pickup. And like I said, if, if Amazon still has a markdown, I would highly recommend you go on there and uh, pick these up if you're interested. Because any kind of Batman fan would want to have this. I think uh, on display somewhere. Yeah, office house wherever you may want to put it. Yeah. So uh, I guess we're going to finish with da 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 Batman. Take care, everybody. Bye.